After making their debut in 2013, the amount of achievement of the seven boys of BTS is immeasurable, doing countless sold-out concerts, multiple awards, both local and international, and topping Billboard 100 week after week are only a few things they can boast about and no one thought any of these were possible. Well, not until BTS happened. But recently, the K-pop community has been discussing something and it became a talk of the town for weeks. Rumor has it that BTS is losing its popularity and armies are far from liking the allegation. I know, you might be thinking that BTS losing their popularity is equivalent to hell freezing, because it's just unimaginable at this point. But the latest announcement from Hanta revealing the top 50 artists in the first half of 2021 gave armies another reason to believe that what they are scared of is becoming reality. In case you are curious about the data and statistics, then keep watching as we unfold the truth. And hopefully... By the end of the video, we can finally answer the question everyone is dying to hear about. Is BTS really losing its popularity? Of course, we all know that the industry is very competitive, and since the ranking is very steep, everyone wants to claim the top spot as soon as they have the chance to. BTS is very successful in securing the most wanted number one, and since 2018, their career has been very stable, to say the least. Not until 2020 rolled out. Yes, the pandemic completely shook the world, the K-pop industry included, but armies are more worried about the fact that the boys are nearing their mandatory military and Enlistment. This is why after the boys were appointed as presidential envoy for public diplomacy, armies did not waste any time to file a petition to exempt the seven members of BTS because of their contribution to Korea, especially in improving the country's public image. You might ask why fans would go to this extent. Well, the answer is very simple. Being exempt from the service will mean that the boys will not have to take a hiatus during the length of the service, which is one year and seven months. This also means that BTS will continue promoting, which will naturally keep their momentum and popularity from dropping. Another reason armies are worried is that the boys are almost at the 10 years mark. In case you don't know, there's this infamous term among K-pop fans called the 5-year curse, which is about how most K-pop groups will not reach their 5th year anniversary before disbanding. The 10-year mark is somehow its countermark in the sense that it acts almost like a finish line for groups before their popularity starts to cast cascade down, and if they are unlucky, end up disbanding. BTS debuted in 2013, and since then, there are a lot of new groups that debuted which are also aiming for the top, and fans are rightfully scared that people will start moving on from BTS and start standing newer generation groups. Not to mention how there is an ongoing debate whether Blackpink is slowly but surely taking over the seven member group. I know there will be a lot of opinions about this, but let me get this straight. Both groups are extremely talented, but fans are still very curious whether their faves are going fairly well than the other. Looking at the stats, the two groups are neck to neck when it comes to charts and social media followers, but Blackpink has surpassed BTS in music video views before, which is surprising, especially when we all know how armies are known to be monster streamers. At the same time, BP has more followers than BTS in the video streaming platform, which didn't sit quite well with ARMYs. But in all honesty, I think this won't affect the boys' position in the music industry, especially if we are talking about their looming military enlistment. Yes, there are K-pop idols who went from number one to no one after serving the military, but we are talking about BTS. Going off the radar for a year or so will not likely cause any damage to their multi-awarded career, especially if we put into consideration the steady growth of their fandom. ARMY is dubbed as the biggest fan base today, and that is because of very good reasons. Have you seen how BTS would accumulate 100 million views in every music video they drop? Like it's a piece of cake? Or have you heard how selling millions of albums with every comeback is only expected? That is because the number of their fans around the globe is massive and I don't see any reason for the number to drop anytime in the future. So if you want to know whether BTS is slowly falling down the ranks, well I guess it's safe to answer in the negative. 
No, the boys are far from over, and in fact, they're doing the exact opposite with countless records set and broken under their names. I mean, they even have fans who are idols themselves who decided to enter the industry because they were inspired by how passionate and hardworking the boys are. Naming a few, we have Park ji who is one of the biggest fanboys V has. Of course, we can't forget about Jung Woo Young from ATs, who literally takes every opportunity to proclaim his love for BTS. The list can go on, but my point is, with everyone admiring BTS, the possibility of them losing their popularity is close to none. Despite this, though, I would have to proceed and take take a short moment from your celebration to talk about the challenges the boys went through and some that they are still experiencing as we speak. Even though it's almost impossible for them to lose the popularity and success they achieved, there were still moments when BTS encountered a mishap. One instance will be when the Golden Magnet was involved in one of the biggest scandals that happened in 2020. The incident happened at the peak of the pandemic, and Jungkook found himself in hot water after it was reported that he and his idol friends were out and about visiting a restaurant in Itaewon, while South Korea's social distancing campaign was at its height. Netizens had a mixed reaction about this, while on the other hand, fans are voicing their support while defending the Mangne. Jungkook went off the radar for several months because of what happened and apologized for his behavior when he appeared during Shuka's VLive broadcast. Thankfully, things were settled and armies were glad to finally see and hear the Mangne interact with them after disappearing for a long time. The Mangne was not the last member who was tormented by this kind of unfortunate event that almost threatened his place under the spotlight because Shuga also encountered a scandal of his own. This is when the rapper received hate after releasing What Do You Think as part of his solo album. Despite topping multiple charts after release, the party was over because it officially started since netizens were quick to point out how the track contained a vocal sample from a 1977 speech given by a cult leader. Jones was responsible for the mass murder-suicide of hundreds of his followers at the Jonestown Jungle Commune in Guyana in 1978, and netizens thought what Shuga did was inappropriate. A Twitter user also mentioned how armies were very much aware of the controversial speech but let it slide since the song still charted pretty well. While a fan mentioned how other armies don't want to hold the rapper accountable and stated that if they do care about Shuka, it was only right for them to educate him so he can grow as a person and learn from his mistakes. Soon after, Big Hit released a statement explaining how the rapper used the speech without knowing full well who the speaker was. At the same time, the company shared that Shuka himself is embarrassed and feels deeply responsible for a problem problem that he did not realize. Fortunately, Yoongi's solo album was still a success, and armies would definitely see to it that the rapper will be walking on Flower Road from here on. The future ahead, BTS will definitely be a little bumpy at some point, and it's only natural for people to criticize them, but one thing is for sure. The boys will continue to conquer much greater heights, and believe me, BTS will be booked and busy that armies wouldn't have the time to worry whether there is a decrease in their popularity. What do you guys think? Is there even a chance for BTS to see a decrease in the number of their supporters? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like and make sure to stay tuned for more. See you! Bye!